Yo, what up guys? Welcome to Jack's Top to another adventure. It's a Saturday morning and we are here in a little village by Wampring, by Hayai. And I'm going to show you guys around the morning market that sells a lot of secondhand stuff and also a bunch of just random stuff. So come check it out with me. Join me as Jack Top to a morning market here in Wampring. This market named Kongye. Kongye. It's a weekend second-hand market. So according to Clickbait, she said that it used to be much bigger, but nowadays it's smaller because of COVID. But check it out, they got fruit sellers on the streets. They have shops over here. They got clothing over there. They have food, they have no car signs, no driving. So you gotta walk here. Wow. Check it out, guys. There's gonna be moments in this video where I just don't talk because <laughs> this is the first time I'm here. I'm trying to like take everything in too. And you know, sometimes I'm just lost for words. I'm not a very talkative guy if you know me in real life. It's only an on like screen thing, a YouTube thing that I talk a lot. Now the cap. Wow. Check out all the fruits here, the pineapple, the banana. The guy simple is the best. It sure is. Wow. Uh, uh. Oh, let's go down this way. Uh, my mom's gonna get in the market. Okay. okay wow. If you want your fresh vegetables. Huh? Oh. Auntie. Already. Chestnut. 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 They they fresh Just follow her. Okay, we're gonna follow Auntie. She export here. We're gonna also see what Thai aunties buy here. Ooh, look at the fish here. Wow, now we're indoors. It smells like a lot of fish. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm wearing a mask. Nowadays, they make us wear a mask here. I mean, pretty much anywhere, but wearing a mask negates a lot of the smell, actually, <laughs> when you think about it. Fresh produce. Wow. The eggs. The chicken. These are non-steroid chicken, not like the ones in the US where they inject them to make them fat. Veggies, clickbait's favorite. She's a vegetable enthusiast. Oh, check it out. They're all buying seafood here. Wow. Here's the dry seafood. In the next section, that was the wet one. Here's the dry section. And then clickbait's mom and auntie, they're here shopping. This is like their heaven. Clickbait likes to shop for clothes. Their auntie I likes to shop for like food. Woo. All right. Auntie got too excited, so she ditched us. Auntie! Auntie! Wow, oh, more chicken here. So many shops. Wow, look at this. The amount of seafood around here. Shrimps. Wow, fish. If you're a seafood enthusiast, look at this pool right here. Fresh fish. Wow. Auntie. Woo, they're still alive. <laughs> Woo. We should the one that died already. You don't want the fresh one? But we don't want to kill it. Ah, it's like Buddhist culture, huh? Yeah, because today is a Buddhist. Ah, uh, so find the ones that's already dead. All right, so auntie said I was not worthy of carrying her food, so she kicked me out of here. Actually, she told me to go check out this place, you know, since she knows that I'm a YouTuber as a hobby. So yeah, we're gonna go walk around a little bit more. We're gonna exit this place, but wow. All right, so we've exited the wet market and now we're at the dry market. This is where all the dry stuff is. 
for some reason, I feel like the wet market is like more interesting for viewing. The dry market is just like supermarket stuff, I guess. But still, you know, this is just how... So many choices here. Not like the US, you gotta go to like Ranch Hero 99 or uh, Asian supermarket to find Asian stuff. Over here, it's all Asian. <laughs> all right, and now we have like the, the random like home goods and stuff. You got the, the rain boots, you got the buckets, you got the, the cleaning supplies over here. Wow. It's definitely not as lively as the wet market. <laughs> And here's the outskirts of the market where all the cars and motorcycles are. Oh, check it out, this buff guy right here. Just want to kick him in the face. Check it out, guys. Woo! This is local life here in the southern part of Thailand. Uh -huh. Or 50 baht. Wow! Oh my God, I'm Three kilo, that's like what? Six, seven pounds? Uh -huh. For less than two dollars. Wow! Talk about a bargain. Alright, so now we're gonna go check out the clothing section right here. But I think they're kind of like kids' clothes right here. Oh, check it out. They got the, the fake Louis Vuitton here. Wow. Woo. Isn't that right? NFL? Oh, this is... I gotta get this. <laughs> the National Football League. The Whoa. NFL. I mean, people like... Think too much about brands. For me, if it works, you know, save money. Shit, that's all I care about. So we just asked, this is 80 baht, so that's less than 3 bucks for this. You know, I'm kind of tempted to just buy just because it's so cheap. Man. So, are you getting it? I got it. You're going to get it? Yeah, why not? Really? Why not? What do you need it for? Wait, for trouble Here. Why not today? Motto for the fans. It's a big ass backpack for a small ass girl. <laughs> So clickbait was explaining to me that in this area, one of the major, I guess, like, uh, employers is like the rubber farm. And it's really easy to get dirty, so people always come here to get like secondhand clothing. So, you know, it's because it's easy to get dirty, so they don't need nice clothes working at a rubber farm. That kind of makes sense. So you want chai yen? Chai cup. All right, guys, so that's it for this very quick video of a morning market. Just to show you what local life here is around here in southern Thailand. We will end this video by getting chai yen. Here's my lovely model with the three Thai tea, 25 each. And we got it from here, this lovely corner store. Hopefully it'll be really good. Click basically it's a lot richer than the one here in, uh, in terms of taste compared to Bangkok. So yeah, guys, that's it. I don't know what I'm going to do later, but like I said, the model is film first, edit and think later. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, that's off.